How could ancient Greeks figure out the distance to the sun without knowing its size? And how could you do this on your own? You again use the moon. You look at phases of the moon. So the sun illuminates half of the, the moon at any given time. And so we on Earth, we also see half the moon, but it's a different half. Um, and so because of that, we get phases of the moon. So sometimes you get a full moon, sometimes you get a new moon over here, um, and sometimes you get a half, half moon. You can pretty much rediscover for yourself a way to estimate the distance to the sun by asking when exactly a half moon occurs. From the name, you would guess that it's halfway between a new moon and a full moon, but that's actually not true. Half moon occurs not, not when the moon and the sun make a right angle at the Earth, but actually when the Earth and the sun make a right angle at the moon. Mm. Hopefully this makes some sense. For us to see a half moon, it means that the side of the moon that we see facing us overlaps by exactly 90 degrees with the side of the moon being illuminated by the sun, which in turn means we have a right angle at the spot labeled here. Half moons are slightly closer to new moons than they are to full moons. Mm -hmm. Of course, in this graphic, the effect is very exaggerated because the sun is being drawn so close to the Earth. How far away the sun is determines when exactly that half moon occurs. The farther away, the closer it is to the true halfway point. And if you can work out that angle, you, you have worked out the angle of a right angle triangle involving the distance of the moon and the distance of the sun. 